Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here today. My name is Ryan Thompson, Assistant Athletic Director for Communications at Davenport University. It's my pleasure to be here to announce the Calder City Classic, which is an annual rivalry matchup on the gridiron between Davenport University and Ferris State University. Today, we will hear from both presidents of the universities, Ferris State University President Dr. Bill Pink, Davenport University President Dr. Rick Pappas, as well as the two athletic directors, Steve Brocklebank from Ferris State and Paul Loudon of Davenport. At this time, I'd like to introduce Davenport President Rick Pappas to offer his remarks. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I'm excited by this. It's a momentous partnership between two great institutions. You know, we compete academically, we compete, you know, athletically, and, but this is a special Calder City Classic of, you know, really the, the heart of two institutions. You know, there's no other community that has D2 that really dominates the athletic scene like Grand Rapids does. And there's really, uh, for us, a, a fun experience is to long-serving, long institutions, been in the 1800s, have been around. And so we're relatively new football, but we, the last two years, have been eight and two. We've been very competitive. And of course, Ferris has a tremendous athletic experience of being national champions in the past. So we're looking forward to hard fought uh, relationship. And what's exciting about this is this year, I know we're at Ferris and then they come to Davenport. The third year, it'll be at a neutral site. And we're excited about the potential of that and hopefully to bring more fans, uh, more of our students in to see two great institutions. So it's my, my great privilege to also introduce uh, Dr. Pink. You know, Bill's a good friend. He's been a, a great leader for first GRCC and now for Ferris. And we're, we're competitive anyway. And so this is such a great thing to have a partnership with somebody who I respect as much as I respect Bill Pink. So let me bring in Bill Pink. Thank you, President Pappas. Good afternoon. Yeah, afternoon, everyone. What an exciting day for us, us being the community of West Michigan. When you have two great institutions that recognize that uh, excellence is important, recognize that if we are practicing excellence as institutions, that means that it's all the better for the students who come through our doors. And both of these institutions are focused on what's excellent as far as our work is concerned. It's an honor from a fair state perspective to be the participant along with Davenport University in this Calder City Classic. I love the idea not only of the competition that it brings, but also we're talking about the conference that we both exist in. So what I believe is one of, if not the most powerful conference, Division II, in the country in so many sports, football, no question in my mind. And what this does is bring together two of those powers in the GLIAC and in Division II football together on a regular basis since we play each other already on an annual basis. Might as well make a big deal of it for the city of Grand Rapids and for West Michigan. Big thanks to people like Mark Kimball as part of the uh, Grand Rapids Hall of Fame, Sports Hall of Fame and his work and his vision in bringing this conversation together and now seeing it to fruition. I thank him quite a bit as always thanking my good friend Rick Pappas and his team for also having the vision to say, yeah, let's do something like this. Let's do it. Because not only will it put a, and shine a light on our great football programs, but the goal also is to shine a light on two great higher learning institutions. Because my vision for this event is that when we're having it in Big Rapids, in Grand Rapids, down on, on Davenport's campus, and when we do that neutral site, I want to make sure that high school students all around the community are coming to this game to not only see a great football game, but also to understand more about the great work that these two institutions do and the opportunities that are there for someone who comes to school at our institutions. So what a great opportunity, my goodness. It's exciting. And uh, for our two institutions, uh, we, are, uh, we are excited to engage in this level of partnership not only with each other, partnership with this community. And so I want to introduce right now uh, our athletic director at Ferris State University, Steve Brocklebank, to talk about more from a Bulldog perspective. Thank you. 
All right, good afternoon. What a fantastic day and what an awesome backdrop to announce the Calder City Classic. So I want to begin by thanking President Pink and President Pappas because without presidential support and encouragement and their thoughtful input, we're not here today. So thank you to both gentlemen. I want to thank Mark Kimball and the Grand Rapids Sports Hall of Fame. It was a year and a half ago, at least, I think, right, Mark? that Mark called uh, Paul and I into his office here in Grand Rapids and said, hey, I have a wonderful idea and an opportunity for you to collaborate with the Grand Rapids Sports Hall of Fame by creating a branded series between the two football programs at Davenport and Ferris. And so I look forward to that continued partnership and that continued collaboration, but I wanna thank Mark for his patience as Paul and I went to work. And, and so here we are here we are today, so thank you. And thank you to the marketing and communication staffs of both universities. I appreciate all of their work. There's a lot of work that goes into making this a reality from press releases to logo design, and, and that work will probably continue. So thank you to those folks. And, and then I think I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the quality of both football programs. I mean, we're here, the reality is we're here because both institutions have made a commitment to their athletic programs. And both of us sponsor highly competitive football programs. And both teams, if you look at this season, are off to really solid starts. And I suspect as we begin this Calder City Classic with the first game week 11 at Ferris State, that that game will have significant implications, uh, both from conference standings and in the Division II playoffs. So I'm really excited to get that game going week 11 and start and kick off the Calder City Classic. I want to thank Paul Loudon. Uh, Paul, uh, my counterpart at Davenport. Paul and I are going to miss each other a little bit, I think, because we've exchanged a lot of emails, a lot of texts, and a lot of phone calls to get us to the point we are today. But very excited about, about this series. Um, grateful that we could put this all together and thankful to all the folks that, that participated in making today a reality. And with that, I want to turn it over to Paul Loudon, uh, Director of Athletics, Davenport University. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate it. Yeah, we're really excited about this partnership that we're in. It's going to be fantastic for both institutions. The Calder City Classic is the first agreement at Davenport in our 22-year history of athletics, starting from 02, where we started with just two sports, and now we're up to 44 and over 1,000 athletes. Football started for us competing in 2016, and we're just in our eighth season. So for us to be able to uh, compete at the level we are, we're, it's, it, there's a lot of hard work, go from the coaching staff, from administration and everything to get to where we are now. But we're really, we're really excited about this event. We have two historical universities that are going to compete on the grid line, on the gridiron for the uh, Calder City Classic Trophy. Davenport University is excited about this partnership, this new tradition with Ferris State, and honoring also uh, an, an iconic piece in Grand Rapids uh, with the with the Calder behind me. So uh, really good. There's another piece of that that comes with Davenport is our head coach Sparky McEwen is a uh, former assistant coach at Ferris State University about eight years ago. He also, just like myself, are former student athletes at Ferris State University. So we're both graduates of, of, of Ferris State. And uh, so we have that historic piece of it. So that, if that brings anything to this rivalry, that would be awesome. And, uh, you know, if we can do anything we can to help that, we will. The, um, the you know, obviously you talked about when the first competition is on Saturday, November 11th at uh, November 16th, sorry, that's my wife's birthday too. That was a bad one to Remember miss that. that. Day, <laughs> yeah, Saturday, November 16th at 1 p.m. up at Top Taggart Field in, in, in Big Rapids at Ferris State University. And then in 25, it'll be at, it'll be at uh, Farmers and Insurance Complex at Davenport University. And, and then the third year in 2026 at a place to be determined in the Grand Rapids area. So we're really excited about that. And uh, we look forward to some great competition. And we know and we hopefully will have playoff implications this game on, on, on week 11. I um, want to thank everyone for being here. I want to thank Dr. Pappas. I want to thank Dr. Pink. I want to thank Steve Brocklebank. I want to thank Mark Kimball from the Grand Rapids Sports Hall of Fame. Our communications people for all the work they did over the last 10 months. We didn't know we'd get it done, but we got it done and they've done a fantastic job. And then the media yourselves for being here and helping promote that. So if there's any questions for anyone here, we're, we can take those at this time. That could be a conversation. Uh, we started off with football. It's been, uh, you know, more a, a great rivalry in the last 
few years specifically, and, and uh, you find these more popular in, in football, so we start there, but this could be an opportunity for us to expand to other programs. Yeah, well you, you think about the, the sp expanse of our two institutions and the sports that we play, and the success that our, that our athletic programs have on an annual basis makes sense for us to dip our toe in the water with football to see how well that works, tweak some of the things that we need to, and then start venturing into further conversation. Probably be, be more Grand Rapids, and there's plenty of potential opportunities now. We've actually had some discussions, but no, we haven't decided on where we're going to go yet. But it'll be a place where a lot of people can come and enjoy really good uh, football. Uh, you know, Division Two is student athletes, and these are these are students who are who can play a lot of different levels, but are committed to not only playing football but getting a degree, and that's important to uh, both of our institutions. I think it's an exciting possibility to look at and think about what that neutral site would be. As President Pappas said, I think it's important for us to put it here at Grand Rapids in this area. Our, our fans are used to coming up here to play. We do that uh, on a regular basis anyway. Um, and so I think there uh, are exciting possibilities to not only uh, being able to select that spot, but it may mean that Three years later, it's at a different spot. I think that's an exci that's the excitement right. of this partnership. And we, we hope that they're, they get tired with the travel, and that would help us in the game. <laughs> How long is this partnership? How long did you guys agree to play this game? Was there a, a signed deal that you know, you've played this for so many years? How did you know, what the, the, the details? Yeah, we, we signed it initially for three years, but I think we've all talked, and I, I think there's a general agreement that yeah. we see this carrying on well beyond that. Absolutely. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to the future of, of this agreement extending beyond the initial two years. It's right here. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be hard to carry, but it's it's uh, it's beautiful. It, it is being worked on. So yes, yes, it is in design. <laughs> we're trying. Yeah, we're, we're looking trying. at yeah, it. Yeah, we're not gonna give that away yet. Yeah, yeah. Okay, wait. keep you in suspense. We know it has to be built solid because it's going to be carried by 100 football players regardless of that's true. That's true. That's we, true. Paul and I did agree to that. Let's yeah. make sure we build something very, very stout. Thank you very, very much. Thank you all very much. Thank you.